On one end, we have Chris Gardner, the ultimate good guy, struggling to make a life for his son. On the other, the ultimate bad guy, Idi Amin. In between, a conflicted diamond smuggler, a high school teacher who lives in an altered state, and one fabulous, dirty old man. Each one a challenge, each one addressed brilliantly by five of the best actors in this business. Here are the nominees for actor in a leading role. And the Oscar goes to, Forrest Whitaker in The Last King of Scotland. Forrest Whitaker's road to the Oscars began when he earned a scholarship as an operatic tenor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's a second. Just a second. Okay. Take it. Okay. I, sh I, I, I wrote something down because I, uh, I thought if it would happen, I'd be a little overwhelmed, and I am. So. <sighs> okay. Um, when I was a kid, the only way that I saw movies was from the backseat of my, my family's car to drive in. And, um. It wasn't my reality to think I would be acting in movies. So receiving this honor tonight tells me that it's possible. It is possible for a kid from East Texas, raised in South Central LA and Carson, who believes in his dreams, commits himself to them with his heart, to touch them and to have them happen. Because when I first started acting, it was because of my desire to connect to everyone, to that thing inside each of us, that light that I believe exists in all of us. Because acting for me is about believing in that connection, and it's a connection so strong, it's a connection so deep that we feel it, and through our combined belief, we can create a new reality. And so I want to thank my fellow believers in the last King of Scotland I want to thank Peter, Jeremy, Andrea, Lisa, Charles, Kevin, James McAvoy, Carrie, Stephen, Fox, DNA, Channel 4. I want to thank the people of Uganda who helped this film have its spirit. And finally, I want to thank my mom and my dad. I want to thank my wife, Keisha, my children, my ancestors who, who, who continued to guide my steps, and God, God who believes in, in us all and uh, who's given me this moment in this lifetime that I will hopefully carry to the end of my lifetime into the next lifetime. Thank you.